I'm trying to figure out a way to get you guys on the clock action, especially now the basketball's coming back. So we got a new segment with all the smoke called What's Burning, where we're going to give you our fire takes, chop mm. that shit up, and get it right to you. So here goes the first segment. Jack, what's good, bro? We back. My brother. NBA's around the corner. Today, CP3 to the Phoenix Suns. Thoughts? As much as I love Devin Booker, I think I'm going to love him even more. Book can lead the league in scoring with CP. And then what I really like about this trade is CP3 is going to turn Aiden into a potential all-star player. He's very skilled. I think he's actually a little bit more skilled than Capella and DeAndre Jordan. You saw what CP was able to do with both those guys. So he's already a 2010 guy. You put CP, the best creator in the game, next to him. Still the smartest point guard in the game by no far. I think they may need one more piece. They definitely got to fill that roster. We all know that. You know, they're going to have to give up a lot to get CP but they're going to have to build that roster. Back. And it was hard to give up Kelly Oubre. Talented. I don't think people realize how talented Kelly Oubre is, but I think that deal doesn't happen without Kelly Oubre having to go the other way. So Shout out uh, Jay Johnson, man. He's doing a job over there in Phoenix. Yeah. He's trying to put it together. Absolutely. I'm not mad at that. Something else that is hot on the press, Dennis Schroeder, that they're talking like it's almost a done deal to the Lakers. What are your thoughts with Schroeder to the Lakers? Schroeder brings a lot. He brings another playmaker, a shot maker, can create his own shot, and he's a dog, too. Dog. That was you the one thing saying? with the twins being so close to Lil Chris. Me and Chris see each other a lot, and that was the one thing he said about Schroeder. He said Schroeder's an absolute dog in practice, in the games. Like, Chris loved playing with Schroeder, so mm -hmm. I think that kind of energy you bring to the point guard, let LeBron get off the ball. You saw how important Rondo, playoff Rondo was allowing LeBron to play off the ball. It made right. the game that much easier, you know, for him. So I think Schroeder's a huge pickup on both sides. But one person... I really feel like that can help the Lakers is if they can get like a Tristan Thompson for the low. You know what Ooh. I mean? To just to be that banger rebounder. Yeah. He doesn't need touches. Yeah. Great defense. Uh, Take some defensive of the load player. Off AD. Yeah, A D can, you know, chill out so he doesn't have to guard the top four or five on the other team. But I just think a guy that's doesn't need much, does his job, did well with LeBron already, that'll keep A D at the four and not having to go to the five, which he wasn't want to do. So Watch out for him. But I also heard, you know, Ibaka's a hot name out there. Serge Ibaka's going to fill out one of these championship contenders. And be a good. big role. Big part. We were talking earlier about, you know, Ibaka possibly going to the Nets. <sighs> Let's jump to the Nets. Let's jump to the Nets. Because we're hearing uh, James Harden has been talking to Kyrie and, and KD. What are your thoughts if he goes to the Nets? I just envisioned. Picture this. Picture this. Nice. Picture this. Kyrie at the point. James at the two, KD at the three, Serge Ibaka at the four, DeAndre Jordan, DeAndre at, the Jordan at the center. Oof. Wow. We might have to go get a 10-day for that team. Yo, wow. Me and, me and we can spot up and shoot threes hey, me, still now. Yeah, we can help you guys fight. We can play a little bit of defense, hit some threes. Stevie Nash, you know we got your back, baby. Hey, man, that would be a tough, like I said, I think Ibaka is going to be a key piece on a championship team. But that's the one thing. First of all, if James does go to the Nets, they're going to give up all their young talent. So they're going to have to give up Dinwiddie. They're going to have to give up Karis LeVert. Yeah. Probably Allen. Allen that's why you got sure. DeAndre there. But, but that's going to be the biggest thing for a lot of teams. If they do all these trades, a lot of teams, gonna, gonna, we're going to see what organizations are, or what management is good at filling our rosters because that's going to be big this season. You got to think. Brooklyn already went it all in one time with the win now with the KG yeah. and Paul Pierce experiment. Obviously, these guys are much younger and in their primes. But, I mean, if you got a chance to get a James Harden, you got to do it. You got to do it. Steve Nash over there. You got Dan Tony over there now, too. Yeah. But the one thing that the Rockets have in their favor is they don't have to trade them. Neither do they have to trade Russ either. They don't have to trade Russ either. <laughs> you see, and what we've been hearing, because we've been talking to, you know, some people, some sources, I guess we're those kind of guys, and then we get sources. It wasn't the Paul Silas situation. They, they Steve. Have, uh, Steve. Steve Silas. Me, Steve Silas. You yeah. know, they support Steve Silas. What we were hearing was it was just the, the management and ownership not consulting with, especially James. James has been there. James put them on the map. Right. You know what I mean? So not consulting with your two stars on hiring the GM and the first GM leaving. Um, it, it just kind of got messy because I, I, it sounds like James and Russ felt like they were kind of left out of the mix. I've played th three, almost four years solid with San Antonio, and every move that was made from starting the lineup to trades, Tim Duncan was involved. You have to. You have to include your star players because they are the guys that you rely on the most. And we have to reiterate this. It's not because of Stephen Silas. We play for Stephen Silas. Great everybody guy. loves Stephen Silas, Great and guy. everybody's happy he's finally getting his opportunity that he should have been got. But James and Russ 
are not happy with with the just not being a part of the decision yeah, making. It's not moving right. I guarantee you, Braun is a part of everything that goes on. No question. You know what I mean? So, so why, why not James? So James possibly we're hearing James possibly to Brooklyn, but we're also hearing James possibly to the 76ers for Ben Simmons and a pick. I like that for Philadelphia. I don't like that for Houston. No. I don't like that for Houston at all. No. You know, Houston, Houston has to if Russ has to stay, and, and that's neither of their strong suits. I don't think that, that that's a good move. I mean, as much as I love Ben Simmons, where I do like Ben Simmons at, and we heard about this earlier. Golden State. Can you imagine Ben Simmons to Golden State? Who? What's starting five? Name that starting five. Steph. Clay, Clickety Clay, Wiggins, Wiggins wouldn't be there. He'll he'll go on that the, trade. Oh yeah, he had the, the Wiggins and probably probably what Pascal's the that pick, his name. The pick, and the pick, yeah, will go. So yeah, right. So it'd be Steph, Clay, find a three, Draymond and Ben Simmons. I don't think Pascal will be in that trade. I think they can keep. Him. I like him. I like him too. They found a, a hidden gem uh, with everyone getting hurt. He's a dog. He's what do you go to Villanova? Dog. Four year yep. player at Villanova, yep. I think. But uh, okay, so let's follow. But Ben Simmons to Golden State is. Hold on. Love it. Greek freak to Golden State. Greek freak to Golden State. The next, <sighs> the, the Warriors are going to have another <laughs> dynasty. I, but you can't just say that with Braun and AD, and they might add DeMar DeRozan and KD, KD and James. Like, it's a lot going on, it's bro. Be dope. I love it. But I like if Greek freak can go to Golden State, I'm giving Golden State their first three peat, I think. I think so. I mean, I got them as front runners as well. I mean, I got them as definitely front runners coming out the West, but and the East, if they can add that James to Brooklyn, mm, that's gonna be scary. It's, James, it's hard to count them out, James, bro. James, James to Brooklyn. Is Kyrie scary. just, just Kyrie with that, mm. it's scary. And then, uh, you know, Westbrook, someone who kind of gets overlooked and disrespected for some reason because they don't know basketball. Everybody that loves the game of basketball played the game of basketball, studied the game of basketball, lived the game of basketball, breathed the game of basketball understand how important Russell Westbrook is, just as important Oscar Robinson was. And they're very similar. Look at the records, look at their stats. They're similar. If you're gonna give uh, Oscar Robinson his props, then give Russ his props. He's just in a different era, and Russ is doing just as much as he was doing. Russ is a dog. The one thing you hear about Russ is you can't win with him, though. That's the one That's the one knock when I hear people talking on TV about it, and you hear the casual fan obviously not understanding how talented he is and, and what he brings to the table. At the same time, people say you can't win with him. Well, I guess that's going to be the knock of every player that hasn't won a championship. So I guess <laughs> right. they couldn't win with Charles Barkley. I <laughs> right. guess they couldn't win with Karl Malone. Right. You know what I'm saying? Great, so great they call. stop that. If you don't know the game, sit down. Let the, let, let the experts talk about it. So we're hearing Russ to a couple of different places. We were hearing um, the Clippers early on. I think that's kind of died out. Uh, but of late, we've heard Russ to New Orleans, Russ to Detroit. Russ to the Knicks. No. If, if anyone goes to the Knicks and you're a star, you got to have someone else going with you. Ain't enough or there. You're just Don't gonna, do it. You're just going to die. Your career is going to Unless they plan on signing Melo back. Fade to black. And bringing Melo back with they gonna need more. They're going to need more than that. But I'm just saying, this, it's going to have to be something. And, you know, it was crazy. It was, I was talking to CP3 this weekend at the Twins' birthday party. He was talking about potentially going to the Knicks, obviously before he got signed today to Phoenix. But he's like, bro, if I'm going to go to the Knicks, I want the Knicks experience. I want to play in front of Madison Square Garden fans. I want that, yeah. that, that energy yeah. that everyone goes to. Because the Mecca. Like, you know, outside of that, what is it? Right. I mean, what, what is it? You know right. what I mean? So I felt that. So for Russ to It's not the go, same as Spike Knee not on sideline. No. It, it, <laughs> for, for Russ to go to the Knicks, Russ, you got to take somebody with you, and you need some fans back. And then you hear Detroit. I like Detroit for the simple fact that he got tools. That he's going to have to give up Blake probably. They are right over there, especially in the East, but I would rather him stay West, bro, because the other teams, he, he's not. He's going to be in a position like Melo. They're going to they're gonna put you in positions where you got te- you're on teams that's drowning, Teams that's badly trying to make playoffs and is making it look like you can't play anymore. Mm. Then it just pushed you out the league. They've done it to so many players. I don't want that for us. So last place we're hearing is New Orleans. I don't know how well he fits in there. With the Brandon Ingram who needs the ball in his hand a lot, probably Zoe would be in that trade. You got a Zion out there. I don't know if that's a, a, a good fit for him. I think he needs more shooting around him, and they don't particularly have very much shooting outside of, you know, J.J. and guys that are coming off the bench. So New Orleans building from the ground up. Stay doing You're doing yeah, a great job of building from the ground up. You'll be good. Right. Don't, don't rush, rush the, process. the process. Three don't more rush. years, you'll be great. Blake Griffin. I think Blake Griffin can end up moving at some point this season um, to, to just a good team. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Blake is very – he's, he's kind of went to Detroit and almost been forgot about. But, you know, I got some, some really good years with him and with the Clippers and understanding how talented he still really is and he's starting to get healthy again. I wouldn't be surprised if Blake goes to somewhere, someone, you know, right before the trade deadline. How uh, you like Blake season. back home with Clippers right now? I would love it. And quiet is kept. Now the CP's 
in Phoenix, CP wanted to come back to the Clippers. I know. He was talking to people That's over there. That. You know, he got, you know, he got T. Lose, back his guy. Chauncey, and Paul. Chauncey, Chauncey uh, is there. CP was leaning towards the Clippers, but I guess they, they, they didn't want to pull that trigger. But seeing Blake back there or, you know, shit, seeing Blake go to Phoenix somehow. What about Blake going to Golden State? What about Blake going to Golden State? <laughs> <laughs> that's oh what's going to make God. this season. The season's going to be crazy, man, because there's so much. That, and that's what continues to make the NBA elevate is because it's almost like a, a reality show in the offseason. Unpredictable. So who, who's going where? There's news every day, big trades, guys are teaming up, people are getting fired. The shit is crazy. The shit is crazy, but I'm enjoying it. I can't wait, man. If we, if we get to see James in Brooklyn, if we get to see DeMar in L.A., you know, what's Phoenix going to do with C.P., mm -hmm. Aiden, and, and Booker, and hopefully one more piece? Are the Lakers going to be able to grab anybody else? So it's, it's going to be a fun season. It's right back.